Well, he had dreams of playing in the NFL and working for the Federal Reserve, but Nick Blakely's life was cut short in 2017 after the 19-year-old collapsed after football practice at uh, Stetson University in Florida. He died of sudden cardiac arrest. Since his death, his mother has been on a mission to make sure no mom gets that same call. Nick Sturdivan sat down with her recently. She hit a big milestone saving lives. It's in this morning's Whatever Happened To. As soon as he signed the bill, you hugged him. Like, what was going through your mind when he signed the bill and when he got up? What was going through my mind is that we, we did it. We, we got here. Um, that Nick's name was not, his dying was not in vain. May 2nd at Willard High School in Marietta, Governor Brian Kemp signed several education bills into law, one of them being close to Michelle Wilson's heart, Senate Bill 60. Break down Senate Bill 60 for those who don't know. Well, it actually affects uh, middle school to high school. They uh, state that any if they're at the parks, if they're at the school, if they're in any type of sports, um, that they have informational meetings on sudden cardiac arrest. If a coach sees any signs, that student has to leave the field and not come back until he's been cleared from a physician. <laughs> Michelle says she worked with lawmakers like Senator P.K. Martin to get the bill passed. The new law is named after Jeremy Nelson, a Buford Middle School student who died playing in a rec league basketball game after collapsing on the court in 2013. And her son, Nick Blakely, former Archer High football player who also collapsed and died after practice. He was preparing for his first collegiate football game. I would love to have told Nick, you just can't play anymore. Michelle has dedicated her life spreading awareness. The Nick Blakely Foundation offers free heart screenings for students, as well as raise money for AEDs for Gwinnett County Parks, and has also donated AEDs. But your work is not done. No, my work is not done. We have about 50 parks in Gwinnett Park County. We have about 15 without AEDs. We supplied three last year, and we plan to do two at least um, this year um, through the foundation. But that's next, to make sure that um, the AEDs are there. Very nice. Michelle says her dream is to work with NFL, NBA Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal, whose son Sharif was sidelined last year at UCLA because of a heart ailment. If you would like to donate to the Nick Blakely Foundation, all you have to do is click on Nick's story on our website, 11live.com.